Britain's Supreme Court is due to rule tomorrow on whether the UK government can trigger Brexit without consulting Parliament. The legal challenge uh, to the government was mounted by British investment fund manager Gina Miller. DW's Birgit Mass caught up with Ms Miller to find out why she's taking on the government. Since launching legal proceedings against the British government, Gina Miller has had to hire bodyguards. The investment fund manager has received numerous death threats. We met her at her offices in one of West London's wealthy districts. We are about to go through Brexit, which is such a momentous decision. We need people to speak up and to talk about the scenarios and what will be good or bad and come to the best possible decision. But all those people are frightened. No politician has been willing to appear together with her in public, she tells us. A search on the internet quickly reveals some of the hatred people have sent her way. Some have even called for her, a British citizen, to be deported. And those are amongst the least spiteful posts on Twitter. If I was a white man bringing this case, I possibly wouldn't have experienced the same things because the vitriol has been personal. It has not really been about the case. My life has changed. We don't really go out anywhere anymore. I don't use any public transport anymore. Um, my children have special school run, you know, a special entrance at school. So it, it has changed. But the publicity has also been useful for Gina Miller when it comes to getting her point across. That her case is not about preventing Brexit, but about a proper debate on it. And finally, a vote in Parliament. In my view, that's what's needed to talk about every element of Brexit. What does it mean for um, agriculture? What does it mean for science? What does it mean for our schools? What does it mean for, um, you know, uh, security? I want the parliamentarians to do their job, to deliver what's best for our country and stand up for the people who elected them, not to do what's best for them and their party. Before the referendum, most MPs had campaigned to remain in the EU. But it is expected that they would now vote in favour of leaving, even if it means a so-called hard Brexit. After the vote for Brexit, many parliamentarians had hoped to influence the government and keep the ties with Brussels as close as possible. But with Theresa May now determined to leave the single market, this looks increasingly unlikely.